Hello everyone, this is Vivek Singh. I am working as a senior solutions specialist with Informatica. In this session, we will talk about how to update SSL certificates for Informatica web applications like administrator UI, analyst UI, catalog UI, and domain services like ICS, DIS, CMS. Consider a case when existing certificates used in Informatica tools are expired and you got new signed certificate from your certificate authority and now you want to use these new certificates in Informatica tool. In such cases, this session will be helpful for you. Before we start with the configuration steps, I'm assuming that you have already created a new key store file for the domain, generated the certificate signing request CSR, and after sharing the CSR with your CA, you have received the signed certificates. Depending on your CA, you may receive either a single consolidated certificate or three separate certificate for root, intermediate and site or server level. For this session, I have received three separated signed certificate from my CA. To update the certificates in Informatica tool, either we can create a new set of key store and trust store both the files and then update the new location at the node level and domain service level or we can uh, replace uh, the old key store and trust store files with the new set of key store and trust store file in the same location or the other approach could be that we can create a new key store file but instead of creating a new trust store file we can utilize the existing trust store file by deleting old key store entries from the existing trust store file and making new key store entries there. In this session, I will be going with second approach. By using this approach, one advantage I can see is that if our trust store file is containing any other certificate and let's say you have imported Snowflake related certificate as part of advanced scanner or IACS related certificate as part of advanced scanner in your trust store, then you do not need to re-import those certificate again because we will be utilizing the existing infra trust store itself so all we need to do is we just need to read the old key store related and domain key store related or ICS key store related entry from the trust store and then make new entries there and anyway we will be having the rest of the old entries already present in the trust store to start with the configuration the very first step is to shut down the domain for that we will be using infa services shutdown command I have logged into my Informatica domain server and then I have run infa services shutdown command. The next step is to remove existing key store entries from the existing trust store because here we are going to utilize existing trust store file itself. So to delete the entries, we can use key tool delete command. In this command, we need to provide alias name which we want to delete from the trust store file and this will be the password of the trust store. In the administrator console, I can see my current key store and trust store directory. So I have switched to this directory and here I can see my infa trust store and key store files are present here. So to delete the entry from the trust store file, the very first thing I will do is I'll query the key store file to find out what is the alias name present in the key store and same alias I will be deleting from the trust store. So here I can see the my alias name is infa domain node. Also, I will, I'm going to use a new certificate for ICS also. So I will need to delete ICS uh, certificate also from the trust store. So in the same way, I will be running key tool hyphen list command for ICS key store file. So from here, I can see my ICS uh, alias name is infa ICS services. So these two entries I will be deleting from the trust store. Also, if your root level and intermediate level certificates have changed, right, those entries also you need to delete it from your trust store file because we will be re-importing those entries. If your root, in, uh, root and intermediate have not changed, then you don't need to delete those entries, only deleting these two entries will be sufficient. Let me quickly query my trust store file and see what are all the entries present there and then I'll delete it. So my infa trust store file is having total 178 entries and here I can see infa domain node entry is there which I need to remove it and up, along with that I also need to remove the ICS related entry so ICS related entry is also present here infa ICS service so these two entries I need to remove and also I will remove root CA and intermediate CA certificates from entries from uh, this trust store file because I have received a new root and intermediate CA certificate as well from my CA so to remove the entries from infa trust store, I'm using key tool delete command from here. And here I'm, I'm providing the alias name which I need to delete from here. 
so i have deleted all the four entries the info node domain node related entry then root uh, ca entry intermediate ca entry and also the ics service related entry from the existing info trust store file after deleting existing key store entry from the trust store file the next step is to remove existing key store file and the ics cert related folder so in this location uh, i will be removing the infa key store files from here because i am going to use new key, new key store files with the new certificate so the existing key store file will be removing from here and since we are going to use new ics certificate also so um, uh, what i'll do is i'll remove the ics certificate from here and i'll also remove the ics certificate folder because since we are using the new ics certificate so we'll be using the utility to generate uh the new ics certificate again hence i'll remove this folder also from here so now i'm only having infa trust or related file here the next step is to import the new site or server level certificate which we have received from the certificate authority into the new key store file and one thing we need to remember here is while importing the alias name we need to keep the same alias name which was there in the new infa key store file right so basically the general process is that first we will be creating the uh, new key store file and then we will be generating the csr and that csr we send to our certificate authority for the signing purpose and then we receive the signed certificate so when we generate the key store file in the first step whatever alias name we give it there with the same alias name we need to import the uh, uh, site or server level certificate signed certificate which we have received from the ci authority and that import we will be doing using the key tool import cert command so i have switched to the directory where uh, all of my new certificates are uh, available so under new cert folder i have placed all of the certificate so here i am having the key store file which i generated right and for this key store file i generated the csr and sent to my ca for the signing purpose now from my certificate authority i have received three certificate the root level certificate intermediate level certificate and the server or site level certificate with the name i have given as infa key store dot cer and since i am going to use new certificate for ics also so uh, uh, for ics i am having the ics key store and the trust store file as well and here ics certificates are self signed certificates and this key store ics key store and trust store file i will be using to generate the uh, ics certificate using one of the utility now the step is to import the certificate the server or site level certificate which is infa underscore key store dot cr in our case into the infa key store file and to import that we need to use the same alias name so first i'll query infa key store to find out what is the alias name so i'm using key tool hyphen import cert command to import the uh server or site level certificate into the infa key store uh, with the same alias name which is already present in the infa key store you can use key tool hyphen list command to find out what was the alias name there in the in the infa key store file and once i execute this i can see the message the certificate reply was installed in the key store to validate the entry i can run key tool hyphen list command with uh, hyphen v parameter so that i can see the all of the details present in this key store So here I can see infa key store file is having only one entry with the same alias name, and this entry is having three certificates here. So under the same alias name, we are having three certificates. The first certificate is the server or site level certificate. Second certificate is the intermediate level certificate, and the third cert uh, third certificate is the root level certificate. Which means in a single alias, we can see the complete hierarchy of the certificate. next step is to import all the three certificate the root level certificate intermediate level certificate and server side level certificate which we received from the ca into the trust store file so since here we are going to utilize the existing trust store file so we will be importing all three certificate into existing trust store file and also if you notice since we are going to use new certificate for ics also so i will be uh, importing the ics trust store certificate also in this existing infa trust store file so before running the command to import the certificate into existing trust store file i'll move all of the certificate from here to my uh, location where my existing trust store file is present and let me switch to the directory where the existing trust store file is present and here i can see this is my existing trust store file right the infa trust store 
dot jks and uh, all of my new certificates i have copied here so i'm using key tool import cert command and here you can see i'm importing the uh, root level certificate so informatica roots dot cr file right so from here i'm importing the certificate into the existing trust store file this alias name you can keep it anything The second certificate is uh, intermediate level certificate and here also the alias name you can keep it anything. Third certificate is site or server level certificate which is infa keystore.cr file. So here keep the alias name same as what was uh, with, um, present in the keystore file. There is some error so let me see here okay so this certificate is also imported and the last one is i am importing the ics related uh, trust store into the domain trust store because i'm going to uh, uh, create new certificate for ics also okay so all of the four certificates are imported uh, the root level certificate intermediate level certificate the server or site level certificate for the domain and the ics level certificate also if you are updating ics related certificate also so after this step based on your requirement you need to use any of the informatica provided utility to generate certificate for ics service Currently, uh, I, I'm not having any ICS related folder here, but uh, in, in for this demo, I'm going to use option number three to generate the certificate uh, for ICS here as I'm using self-signed certificate for ICS and internal CSI certificate for domain. There is already a video KB available on Informatica support channel to on, on how to generate certificate or ICS. So you can refer that for the for more detail. I'll skip that part here and I'll quickly generate the ICS related certificate using option number three and then I'll come back to this screen. So here I have generated the ICS related certificate using uh, the utility provided by Informatica and I have used option number three here. Once the certificates are imported into key store and trust store file, the next step is to create PEM version of the final key store and trust store. Please note the PEM version of the key store and trust store files are needed by the catalog service during startup. So we'll be utilizing the updated key store, right? And trust store files to generate the corresponding uh, PEM files. In this location, I'm already having the old PEM file for infa trust store file. So first I'll remove that file from here. And then now we'll generate the new PEM file for Infa Key Store and Trust Store. Here, the generating PEM file is a two step process. First, we are generating a PKCS12 format file, and then we'll be using OpenSSL to generate the PEM format file. Same command I will run for the Trust Store file. And now I can do ls ltr to see if the pem version of the certificates are generated so here i can see i'm having infa keystore.pem also and then infa trustor.pem also so with this we are done with importing new science certificate which we have received from the certificate authority into the infa keystore and trustor files and we have generated the pem versions also so at the end we will be needing four files here infa keystore.jks infa keystore.pem infa trustor.jks and then infa trustor.pem file so these are the four files this this and then this keystore.jks and uh, trustor.jks these files and this certificate we have generated the ics related certificate which we have generated with the utility this will be needed now we can go ahead and restart our services but since we are updating the ics related certificate also so one more step i would recommend here is to delete the old cert folder from the cluster machine on the cluster server if you log in you will be able to see cert folder here and this cert folder basically it, it contains all the required certificate for the mongo solar postgres all those services start so what i'll do is i'll remove this certif uh, certif cert folder from here And after removing this cert folder from here, we'll restart the cluster server machine. Once cluster servers are up and running, then we can go ahead and use infa services startup command to start Informatica services. Once the ICS service is up and running in the custom directory, 
we can see on the cluster servers the search folder is automatically created kb articles and commands related to this session are provided in the reference section of this slide we would love to hear from you on any of the informatica channels thank you